Hey guys, I'm a science potato, and today I've got a video showing you guys how to do your initial setup in Kira for managing your 3D printer. So the first thing you're going to see after you finish installing Kira is a screen that says add printer. So if you have a printer on your network, you can search your network for a printer. But if you don't, here's a huge list they have of a wide variety of printers with different profiles set up for them. It's important to note that you don't actually, you're not required to pick the specific printer you have. Usually what I do is I go custom right here for picking a profile for use with a printer that isn't standard, which is generally the printers we use at Wave of the Future. I have built our own profiles for everything, so we're going to pick a custom printer here, and we're going to call it whatever we want. We'll call ours the CR10 Plus Ultra. And normally, these are the settings that are adjusted when you select a printer from that list. But we can change these settings to whatever we want, so we don't, that's why we don't really need that profile. So here we can pick the X, Y, and Z dimensions of our build area, whether we have a rectangular or elliptic build plate, which basically means do you have a Cartesian printer, which is the standard printer most people have, or do you have an elliptic, which is a delta printer, which are generally circular. This origin at center also relates to that. If you have a rectangular build plate, your origin will not be at the center. It will generally be at the front left corner. That's your zero. But if you have a delta printer using an elliptic build plate, you generally will have your origin at the middle of the build plate. Heated build plate, heated build volume, what kind of G-code flavor you use. Generally, it will be Marlin, but there's a list you can choose from. Here we've got just the generic start and end G-code that the printers have and this is not really that great at all we're definitely going to want to change that I'll be making a video explaining how g-code and start and end g-code works here we have settings relating to the physical dimensions of our print head which aren't really that important anyways I wouldn't bother with them unless you're going to be doing consecutive printing which most people aren't here we can set our nozzle size filament diameter most of these other settings don't really matter either and now we have a print area. We're also going to have a, our slicer settings. And it's important to note when you initially install Kira, when you open this list, this is what you will see. These are the recommended settings. And I don't actually recommend using this at all. Definitely the first thing you want to do is click custom right here. And these are where all the real settings are. This is where you will have your printer profile with your hundreds of Kira settings tuned in here. But of course, when you first initially install Kira, you won't have any custom profiles. All you will have are these default profiles. And I don't recommend using these default profiles either. They're not very good. They're a great place as a starting point to then tweak it so that your printer can print well. This will also help you learn and understand how the profiles work, which is way better than just getting a profile from someone else online who had a good print really want to learn how these work and I'll also be making a video explaining how you can tune all your settings for specific variables but it's going to want us to install a profile so you can see all you do is open up your list of profiles come down to manage profiles and you can see we open up a window in the preferences it's important to note preferences is right there as well and every setting in this preferences list is where we'll find everything we need. So we have our printer profiles that we built here. Now we have the page where we can load in our slicer profiles with all our variables in it. We can import or export any of our profiles. We can see I have a profile I've built here for our printers. So after you've installed that, you'll then have your list of settings here. But what about materials? You can see we have a generic PLA listed here. We can open up this drop down menu and go to manage materials, which you can see brings us again to the preferences window where we can manage everything. So rather than searching through these drop down menus to manage your profiles or to come up here and manage your materials, all you really got to do is click on preferences, configure Kira, and here you can access whichever settings you're wanting to. The last one we have is our materials. So you can see by default, generic PLA is selected. But if you notice these densities, diameter variables, we can't change any of this. We can only change cost and weight. So generally what you're going to want to do is just hit create up here, 
and create your, your own material. Now we have full control, we can name it whatever we want, give it a color type, um, and especially the density values here we can change. Usually I find the best way to tune in the density values for your material is to just print something and take note of what Kira says the estimated weight will be and then just weigh the finished print and then you can dial in this, va this variable here until Kira's estimated weight is exact to the real weight and then you know your density is good. And that's pretty much it for your initial setup. You can also open up your list of printers here. If you have multiple printers, there's a simple drop down menu. We can hit the add printer button to go right back to your, the very first screen you'll see, which is where you can pick the type of printer you have. You can also go to manage printers and again, open up your list of preferences where you can add, remove printers, manage your materials, your profiles, everything like that. And here we have our settings visibility. And it's important to note these are our settings and there are hundreds of settings in here but generally you're gonna only see a few we open up these lists there's not going to be many variables here that's because if you click on this little button here you can adjust the amount of settings you can see and it's important to note that regardless of the amount you can see if I hit all let's see there's way more settings now they are all active all the time so if I go basic all those settings are gone, but they're still active. You just can't see them on this list. Also, if you mouse over any setting or the drop down menu here, a little gear will appear. If you click on that gear, it again will take you to your preferences under your settings visibility, where you can turn on and off the visibility of settings. If we slowly scroll down here, you'll see there are hundreds and hundreds of settings but most of them aren't that important and don't really ever need to be viewed or changed anyways but generally I like to go all I like to see all the variables that there are and help understand how they work I can mouse over at any setting to get a description of that setting and what it affects and what other settings are affected by it but we'll go more into this in a separate video alright your Kira settings should be ready to roll if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be making many more videos discussing G-code, um, printer profiles and slicer settings, other things including design, design commentaries, and other instructional videos. All right, thanks. Bye.